Whoever took our tomato plants, you suck. Why did you steal my babies? Tomato plants is such a weird thing to steal as well. Like, who steals tomato plants? Of all the things to steal from someone, really, tomato plants. Special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are going to be taking another look at r slash trashy. I think you guys already know what this is, is a subreddit dedicated to just the, the trashiest kind of people. Before we begin, I just wanted to mention that in less than a week as of this video coming out now, I am going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming every Thursday from then on at 7pm till 10pm UK time. I'm going to be starting with Elden Ring, George and Leah will be joining me, so if you're interested in that, the link to my Twitch is in the description down below, so definitely go and give me a follow over there so you don't miss it when I start streaming. Eventually I hope to stream more often, but right now I work a job, so until streaming's more sustainable, I don't have the energy to do that and work a job, so once a week is gonna suffice. Maybe occasionally I'll do an extra if I feel like it. So go give my Twitch a follow, and hopefully one day I can quit my job and do that for a living. Anyway, let's get into the subreddit, shall we? Wow, yeah, that's that belongs in Trashy. What a tattoo. Someone spent probably a lot of money on a tattoo like that. A tattoo that size, probably upwards of uh, between 100 to 200 pounds. Like, according to OP, this wasn't in America. So, you know, I guess it's not really surprising that racists are everywhere, but apparently they are. None of the price tags in this shop have a currency symbol, so I can't figure out where this is. Clearly, I've, it's got to be an English-speaking country, right? Because I feel like any other country would have it tattooed in their own language because that's usually how nationalists work but who knows who knows <laughs> i want to feel like it's raining on me okay <laughs> i don't know what the context of this video is i don't know what was going on there but <laughs> if i'm having me laugh I mean, it feels like she kind of deserved it, right? He was already making it rain on her and she was like, mm -mm, nope, not enough. <laughs> Just the, the look of shock afterwards. Oh, I probably shouldn't laugh at that, but... <laughs> was traveling on Ryanair and this guy kept touching me with his fucking bare feet. That's not, mm, don't like that. Don't, don't like that at all. Can you complain? Can you talk to a, like one of the air hostesses or something and be like, hey, this person keeps touching me with their bare feet and that's not okay. Oh, I hate that. That would make me so uncomfy. I feel like I would get in a fight. I don't get in many fights, but that would probably result in me getting in a fight if someone kept doing that. Particularly if I asked them to stop and they didn't. Bare sweaty feet and you're stuck on a plane with them. Taking off your shoes on a flight, I feel like is bad enough, right? That's bad enough because everyone in the plane is now subjected to your sweaty feet. But touching people with them? No, you shouldn't be on planes. Shouldn't be on planes. The photo says it all. She was still married to this guy father when she got pregnant with their first baby. She knew and raised him from the age of seven. Influencer who married stepson is having their second child. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Can we stop calling people like this influencers as well? She's not an influencer. No one is being influenced by this. No one is reading this and going, now that's a lifestyle I need in my life. She's not an influencer. She holds no influence. Oh, she might have a few thousand followers. She might have a few hundred thousand followers. I don't know. She's not an influencer. Stop calling idiots who do things like this influencers. Rant over. I'm, I've seen this episode of The Simpsons before. I'm sure that could not possibly come back to bite that person in the butt. No way. It, it couldn't possibly be a crime that this person has just committed on a car that already now has its number plates on record for being like, what is it? I was going to say detained. I don't think detained is the right word. Uh, compounded? No. What is the word? I don't remember. Anyway, the car's already on record for being locked up, right? And now they've done this. The number plate's going to be so easily traced back. <laughs> They're just making more issues for themselves, ignoring the damage dealt to the car. They're already just making more issues for themselves. It's just dumb. 
It's just dumb. WTF the baby do? Oh, they're just a, a happy family. Look at the, the happy family of criminals raising their child in such a great environment. Oh, it's so happy and cute. Oh, they're definitely the kind of people that should be raising that child that they both have ankle monitors on. Such a happy family. Oh. Now this one might not look so weird just at a first glance you know it's a, a trolley that is absolutely stacked with food there's nothing weird about that the person's buying a load of stuff and they couldn't fit all of it really in the trolley properly so it's stacked up i'm gonna just do a little zoom in for you guys yeah that's right that that's a baby's feet there's a child under there i i don't know what else i can really say there's a child buried under all of that food and and stuff they're buying they did not even try and not bury that child they just buried that child a plus parenting. Balenciaga selling most expensive trash bag in the world for $1,790. I think the most annoying part about this, the part that bothers, bothers me the most, is that they wouldn't do this if they didn't think people would buy it. People are really going to be stupid enough to buy a $1,790 trash bag from Balenciaga. It's the exact same vibe as all of the Supreme products that were being sold, you know, the Supreme Brick and the Supreme Crowbar and the Supreme Bike Lock and all of that garbage. It bothers me to no end. There are people with so much disposable income in a world that is as messed up as it is with people starving on the streets in first world countries and there are people that are like, yeah, I'll buy a trash bag for $1,800. Why not? We live in the worst timeline. The worst timeline. People like, people like this are just endlessly annoying. If if you filled up a trolley, first of all, why does she fill up a trolley with that much stuff that she didn't want? That's a lot of stuff to load a trolley up with that she didn't want, right? A lot. That's that's like a whole trolley full. And she was just like, I don't want this. If you're going to return stuff, return it. Don't just dump it on the floor. Or at the very least, go talk to someone and say, hey, I have a trolley of things I don't want here. Can you put these away from me? And then they can probably take the trolley and it will make their job so much easier. But ignoring both of those points, how about you just don't load up a trolley full of things that you don't want? Consider that perhaps, because there's no reason for you to load up this much stuff and then just go, ah, I don't want this anymore. I'm gonna dump it on the floor. Actual human beings have to clean up your mess because you're so entitled as to just dump stuff on the floor. These people are not being paid enough for this, for you to just dump a whole load of stuff from all over the shop on the floor. <sighs> Back at the feet again, this time on a bus. Buses are already gross enough, okay? First of all, I don't want to be sitting somewhere that you've been rubbing your bare feet all over. Second of all, do you want to be rubbing your bare feet all over a public bus? I'm not sure what's grosser here, the bare feet or the bus. Either way, they're both coming into contact and that's gross. That's real gross. Right, now before we watch this next one, I didn't even realize people were still making these. And to be fair, they might not be. This might be an old video, but it came up. It was literally uploaded to Reddit 10 days ago. So I'm going to assume that people are still making these. This is a TikTok trend. And I hate the fact that I have to use trend, but it was a trend because there were hundreds of these. People decided to make a trend where they pretended to be Holocaust victims, like the ghosts of or Holocaust victims in heaven. Why are you going on TikTok and RPing being a Holocaust victim? Uh, let's go watch it, shall we? Let's just watch it. Oh boy. Okay, right. No, I, I was gonna, I don't know. Was I gonna make a point? I don't have any points to make. This, that, I couldn't possibly, what? <laughs> The song used, by the way, I'm gonna have to cut out. It's the exact same song that's used in every single one of these videos. So if you've seen one of these, you've seen them all. <sighs> don't, if, if you were ever considering making a video like this, don't. That's, 
the end of, just don't. No amount of popularity, clout, or success you could get from making a video like this is worth being the kind of person that makes a video like this. Just don't. Just do not do that. Ever. And the final post. Please respect public property by defecating in the toilet, not on the wall or floor. Due to limited staffing, we are not able to clean up after you, nor should we need to. Thank you. It's the fact that they had to make this sign. This is a common trend of r slash trashy is signs like this where you're like, hmm, they needed to make that sign. And that's upsetting to me. I feel really bad for the staff members here that will have had to have cleaned that up and then were like, this has happened enough that we need to make a sign about this. Just imagine being the kind of person that's like, oh, I'm gonna go to a public toilet and just crap all over the floor and walls because I'm a clearly, clearly stable human being. That's where I'm going to end the video, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to support me in making more content like this, then I have a Patreon in the description down below. Or equally, you can click the join button on my channel to support me. It helps a lot more than you might realize, but by no means should you feel like you have to. I'm going to keep making content regardless. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to be streaming every Thursday at 7 p.m., like the coming Thursday from this video coming out. So definitely go check that out. That's 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, so go follow me on Twitch so you don't miss that. I'm starting with Elden Ring. Special thank you to all of my patrons and YouTube members. I can't read out all of the names. There's so many of you guys now, but all of the names are on screen here. Thank you so much to everyone that supports my channel. Honestly, you, you make it the most stable income of, out of YouTube. Like I get AdSense revenue, but Twitch, uh, Twitch subs? No, no, no. YouTube members and patrons make that so much more stable than uh, AdSense ever is. So thank you so much to everybody that does support me on that. Other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.